Rudolph when the leopard red. Teddy, Pendergrass, cooler than Freddie Jackson, sipping a milkshake in a snowstorm. That fuck warm in the dorm room at the end. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here, and so is the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. And on tap tonight, it's the... Coming to you live on 2K Sports, it's time for NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side are analysts Greg Anthony and Doris Burt. We are new... Hey, Kevin. And thanks, David. Relationships come before anything else. Clearly, these guys like each other off the court as well. Doris should be quite a battle tonight. Two terrific front courts. What do you expect to see? Well, I'm really curious to see the level of physicality on the interior in the painted area. Each side trying to impose its will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Keep to your I'm side of gonna. the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. <laughs> a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one so for the Golden State Warriors right now offense and defense with Durant and Draymond with the three and the four it's the Splash Brothers Curry and Clay in the backcourt and it's Pachulia in at the five and they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage Thomas kicks to James love outside the screen from Thompson Thompson, a screen on Thompson. Here's Smith. Outside for Thomas. Down to five on the shot clock. LeBron drives in. Draymond Green twice on the pipe, sends it right back to the shooter. From outside the arc. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. Duran against James. Thompson sets the pick for James. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. That's it. When LeBron is working near the rim, his strength becomes readily apparent. Curry against Thomas. Curry dishes to Green. Green missing again. Boy, despite the miss, he did a really good job shaking himself completely free from the defense. The shot's good from Smith. An outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Durant against James. Durant, the pass to Curry. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Curry's got his second bucket tonight. I'm not sure there's a more dangerous catch-and-shoot player in the NBA than Steph Curry. If you give him space, look out. And Thompson kicks to Thomas. Green with the block. Thompson inside the line. Love grabs the board. Boy, I'll tell you, he has plenty of space, but it looked like a little bit of a hitch in that release. And Doris coming into the NBA, Love's game was centered around the basket, a double-double machine. Well, think about this, Kev. One of five players in the last three decades to average over 15 rebounds for an entire season. He did that in 2011. And he still remains a factor on the boards because he's got terrific understanding of positioning and great lower body strength. Here's LeBron, and that's good off the glass that time. Well, LeBron's going to put in work from the mid-range if you start to give him that kind of space. Curry dishes to Pachulia. Back to Curry. From deep. Love grabs the board. For Cleveland, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Feed the Thomas. The screen from Thompson. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And that's a tough one. But on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. And that's true. The officials used to be pretty lenient on those, but not anymore. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Crowder, he's checked in for Thompson. Corver comes in for Smith. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Thomas. Come on, Shumpert's checked in for James. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Boy, a little too casual on the layup. Temporary loss of focus. Not good. The 
kick out to Crowder. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Rose. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. Curry with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. And the basket by Curry. Well, that's the shot we've all come to expect from Steph Curry. When he's on his game, he's capable of making threes at an historic rate. That's a pick by Love. Rose kicks to Love. Outside Crowder. Pass to Rose. Trying his luck deep. Here's Love. And the layup's good off the glass. Love's got his first points of the night. You know, to me, guys, the possession there was all about the perseverance by Love on the offensive glass. Just a force to be reckoned with. Nice D from Rose. Cavaliers have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There's a good screen. Just five on the clock. Love outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Love. Curry. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He nailed it from long range in that quarter. Winds up with a total of four three-pointers in the period. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. I had a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about... For me, at a younger age, I was... Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. He is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career. Nothing rattles him. Nothing throws him off his game. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. I'll tell you, they've simply been more assertive in the open floor. They're leaking out early, converting with confidence. Amon Shepard is out there with Jay Crowder. Then there's Kyle Quirk. Then there's Derek Rose. And it's Love in at the center position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. They set the pick. Back to Shepard. Love with the screen on Durant. Here's Shepard. That shot off the mark. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Boy, when you watch what Steph Curry does on the floor, it is almost unreal what he can do. In a single game, this guy could make 10 plays that might be career highlights for most players in the NBA. He makes the extraordinary look pedestrian. Corver kicks to jump. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Love with the screen for Shumper. Tries again. Terrific design on the pick look. He lays it in. Shumpert's got his first basket. And with Curry, we're almost too used, Doris, to his skill on the floor. We've come to expect to see something amazing. Oh, Kev, no doubt, because there are very few players in NBA history who are as exciting to watch as Steph Curry. He has takeover ability with his shooting. The creativity and playmaking are off the charts. What a special talent. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Guys, Tristan Thompson has one of the longest consecutive games played streaks in NBA history. He said, the mind's a powerful thing. And if you tell your brain everything is all right, you'd be surprised on the stuff you can achieve. We have the mental toughness to push through our limits. That's how you become great and test yourself as a player. Kevin? Well, David Thompson, certainly a mentally strong player. Always nice to have someone you can rely on night in and night out. Well, this to me speaks to the work ethic of Corver. He's put in a ton of time practicing shooting over contested defense. What a pretty shot. Outside jumper. 
Durant with the steal. Moving it up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Oh, the officials are all over that one. The Warriors shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Yeah, and Steph Curry, you know, maybe not putting up the numbers he did from that impressive MVP campaign, but he is still one of the most feared players in the league on offense. And when he wants to, he can take over a game, and there's just nothing you can do about it. You know, I think the idea is right. Set a screen and try to shield the defender off him, but the pick isn't nearly strong enough. And Thompson sends it back. Oh, the former Longhorn Thompson really elevating for the rejection. Love the energy, guys. And Jen shot, and he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle, too. Man, this thing is just going back and forth tonight neither team wants to give an inch this is fun both teams trying desperately to seize the momentum and with curry and his ability to put a team away in one quarter greg it's absolutely incredible i mean curry just has that ability to end the game's competitiveness in a short span well, what is amazing is he does so much and will often sit out the fourth quarter because of the lead he's helped to build from 13, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. It's on Kevin Durant. He simply can't bite on that pump fake from LeBron because he is waiting for you to leave your feet, and he's going to lean in to get to the line. And both free throws good for LeBron. And Doris, we've seen the offensive game of LeBron James evolve over the years, adding a post game, improving his three-pointer. Well, I think, Kevin, like all the greats, the work habits and willingness to add dimensions to his game have always been there. We understand passing and playmaking have been the constants of his career, but now he understands he's got to vary the way his points and his productivity come. And it's Smith missing. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Green, the screen. And Durant, here we go. Shoots over Crowder, and he can't bank that one in. James wide open. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Golden State's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Thompson inside. He's against Smith. Thompson misses. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. You know, we know every game LeBron is going to find his way to the line just from his aggressive style. And both free throws good for LeBron. 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Curry. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. You know what never ceases to amaze me, Kevin, is Steph Curry's ability to contort his body, draw the contact, get the call, and still find a way to make the shot. There's the screen. James, the pass to Crowder. Thomas, a screen. Fires the three. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And so thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now the 2K Sports Hello again, halftime everybody, show. along with Kenny the Jet Smith. And what a start it was for Stephen Curry. He ended up with 19 points, two assists, and two rebounds. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, it's always a little bit of a challenge playing on the road, but they came in mentally prepared. And, and that wraps up halftime. As... Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Or something that's become popular, debating whether a player is a star or a superstar. To you, what's the major difference between those two thoughts? To me, the biggest difference between star and superstar are those guys who are willing to absorb the label on a night-by-night -night basis and a moment-by-moment -moment basis. You can't disappear when the stakes get high. You can't disappear on a February night in the middle of the grind pre-All-Star break. Greatness requires you to come with it every single night. And they don't care about the conversation about them. They're bulletproof in some ways very thick skin very cool. 
Kobe-like mm -hmm. attribute you just referenced. Very good comparison. And Golden State looking at who they've got. A lethal shooting pair of Clay and KD out on the perimeter. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Curry in at the one spot. Yeah, you, you love the solid screen, but what you hate is just the inability to finish. You know, that's okay, I think. Even though they miss, they still have to be happy with the shot selection. Thomas against Curry. The screen from Thompson. Smith outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Thomas. From deep three-point range. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Smith for three. That's one for their first four to start the second half. But you love the consistent effort from Kevin Love. It makes him one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. You can't let him get free putbacks. Curry dishes to Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Green's got five now. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And the Cavs, once again, looking to will their way, Doris, to a title. Every year, the competition seems to grow fiercer. Yes, but they seem to be a team that thrives on adversity. Think back to 2016 when they overcome that 3-1 deficit. Last season, it was the largest second-half comeback in playoff history. There's no quit in these Cavaliers. And they'll keep possession. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Seven points in the game. Don't you love how Draymond never gives up on an opportunity? This guy is always pounding away on the offensive glass. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Love kicks to LeBron. Back to Love. Clock at four. Here's Smith. It's deflected. Well, incredible work on defense from Zaza Pachulia. Great positioning so he can reject it. Green, the pass to Durant. Pachulia with the screen on LeBron. Durant dishes to Green. Outside for Curry. A minute 50 left in the third. Then Pachulia with the dunk. Oh, Pachulia just tireless on the boards. Throws himself at the basket to get any rebound he can. So timeout called here. Timeout. The first for Cleveland. Well, you wouldn't think about it with the position he plays, but you know Doris Pachulia is an underrated playmaker. Very knowledgeable about how to space the floor and also can drop a perfect pass to a cutter if you let him. Well, he's the near perfect teammate because he always understands the role that you want him to play. High IQ, he sees the floor, and he's very unselfish, Kev. He likes to make that extra pass. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Jay Crowder's checked in for love. Corver comes in for J.R. Smith. And it's Rose in for Isaiah Thomas. There's Rose with the three. At the tip. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. Thompson's got nine. You know, I think the activity level that Tristan Thompson plays with on missed shots is something every NBA player can learn from. Curry kicks to Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Rose passes to James. And here's Corver from the arc. Traps in the tray. Corver's got his second bucket of the night. Well, this is Corver's game, right? A phenomenal catch and shoot player. You know he's ready to fire on the catch. Curry dishes to Green. But they get it back. Let's it go from deep. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got the lead up to eight now for the Warriors. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Corver kicks to Thompson. Floats one, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line.
Noah Thompson, just a spectacular athlete and so muscular. He is so crafty on how he draws fouls while shooting. And so Thompson nails both of them. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the third. Baseline J on the way. That doesn't go either for Green. And the rejection by Curry. Well, stepping up his game on the defensive end, Steph Curry reads the play and sends it back. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clapping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Move it to the next guy. Driving. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. And so here's Cleveland. They trail by six. Corver and LeBron are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Thompson. And it's Rose in at the point guard. That's the five for Cleveland right now. James. He gets it in there. LeBron's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Cavs. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. There's Green with the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And the Warriors lead by seven. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Corver kicks to James. Outside Rose. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over them. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Curry passes to Green. That doesn't go either for Green. Cavaliers shooting around 41% on the night. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Warriors on the break. Durant's running. Oh, and the jam by Durant. Well, the length of Kevin Durant on the defensive end, creating havoc and an opportunity for his guys. And that was Under Armour bringing you that replay. Unleash chaos. And what a play it was. Corver with it, picked up by Thompson. Here's James. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. For the Cavaliers, Evan Love comes in for James. And Smith subbed in for Kyle Corver. Outside Durant. Pachulia sets a screen for Durant. Fires for three. Again, Durant missing. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. For three, Smith. And Pachulia pulls it down. Pachulia's got rebound number five here tonight. Durant, that's good. He hits one in the first half, another here. Not prolific, but the defense has to keep an eye on him. Timeout called Cleveland. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Isaiah Thomas, he's checked in for Cleveland. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron lose huddle. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. And Smith needs to continue to work on improving his shot from the free throw line. And now the finish break. Thomas with the ball. Good. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Outside for Durant. That three off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Out of dishes to Smith. Outside Thomas. Launches a three. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Now just a one-point Warrior lead. If you're the defense, the last guy you want to give that shot to is Isaiah Thomas. He's always prepared. And now 
let's present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him our pick tonight. Even when the D's given him all their attention, they just have not been able to contain him. If they backed off him for one second, he made them pay. Golden State's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Petrulia with the screen on Thompson and out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. The Cavaliers on offense. Right now they're on a nine nothing run. Thompson a screen on Thompson. It's a pick by Love outside for Thomas to take the lead and no good had a chance to take the lead the Warriors leading outside Curry they double team Curry inside here's Pachulia and Pachulia with the dunk Pachulia remains ready at all times and whether it's the first shot or the most crucial fantastic focus Thomas and good and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. What a shot over the bigger defender. That could prove to be a massive bucket. Well, you mentioned the size difference. There was a lot working against him in that matchup, but he still comes through big in the clutch. Curry against Thomas. Shot clock at six. For three, Durant. It's good from long range. Durant's got eight here in the quarter. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. And it's Thomas at the elbow. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as much as 10. It's three outside. A shot. No good. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. Smith kicks to Thomas. It's Crowder on the wing. That's a pick by Love. Crowder with it. Guarded now by Durant. But Julia with the steal. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. He had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And Cleveland making a change here. James is checked in. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Boy, remember when Steph Curry came out of the draft and there seemed to be more questions than answers? He didn't have an NBA body. He was too skinny. He was not going to hold up physically through injuries. All seems laughable now, doesn't it, Kev? Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Buries it. And now they trail by just four. How does Kevin Love slip away from the defense? Comes up with a gigantic fourth quarter score. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Puts up a three. Thompson passes to Smith from deep. James, they grab their own miss from deep three-point range. No good. So we see the Warriors get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in.